PBS. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelt. My heart is racing right now. <laughs> oh, look at look at that! We're not gonna have no Danny Trejo. You are the father. No. <laughs> what do you have? Spies working for you? How did you find this? You're uncovering the truth. I love this. It's wild. These are consequential. These are consequential things. Okay, mind blown. I feel like a time traveler. This is something out of some science fiction novel. Oh, oh it's so good. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. Happy New Year, everyone. Where did that come from? Hey, everyone. Donna Cavanaugh here on What Gives. Yeah, you haven't seen me for a couple of months. What gives with that? I don't know. I've been somewhere, but it hasn't been great, OK? So let me just fill you in. Stay with us here for this half hour. We have a very interesting, wonderful entrepreneur that you're going to want to know all about what he's up to, OK? And he's a doctor of sorts. And then there's me here on What Gives for half an hour. And then part two on uh, this month's show, we're going to have a, a, a very interesting, I would say uh, a doctor of entertainment, let me put it that way. And he'll be on with me in part two. So where have I been? Well, I have a family member that has Alzheimer's. Her name is Nancy. You've seen her on the show uh, over the past years. I brought her on a few times. She's been in and out of the hospital, in and out of rehab where she is right now, and then she comes home. That started at Thanksgiving, then it went again at Christmas, and then New Year's. So uh, that was my holiday. But I've been watching the news and trying to figure out what's happening, and I know it's kind of a crazy time right now, but stay with me. As we go forward on What Gives, this show is going to evolve into What Gives History. And I'm going to be coming to you out there, asking you to sponsor me, but also wanting to know more about you, your business, your museum, your street, the building that's no longer there, what used to be there. So stay with me because after about 15 years on this station, God bless them, we're going to evolve into something even more, okay? But right now, I have a very special guest with me. His name is, well, you should introduce yourself, would you? I sure can. <laughs> I am Dr. Julian Wright. Thank you, Doctor. Yes, yes. It's so wonderful to have you on the show. Thank you, Donna. I'm so glad to be here. I mean, it seems like you're awesome. You know, you're, you're ready to celebrate things like so. Oh, it's of course. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm a little behind. You know, it's almost Valentine's Day, so. But, uh, yeah, I know a lot of people out there yes. have had situations like myself. Yes, I know yes. there's people that have lost people. Yes. Some people have been attacked. Their yes. cars have been stolen. Yes. They've been murdered. Uh, I mean, I don't mean to be uh, depressing right now, but right. it's out there. It is. Yes, it is. And so I'm very aware of it. I was telling you on the way into the station today, Yes. Uh, on Highway 2 coming into South Bend, yes. there is a veteran who mm -hmm. I've seen many times, mm -hmm. who sits in a, on a stool in the grass medium on a very busy intersection coming into South Bend mm -hmm. with a sign that says, I'm a veteran, can you help me please? Wow. Well, silly me. Mm -hmm. I put my flashers on. Mm -hmm. Don't, please, please, don't be mad at me. <laughs> I pull over to the grassy area in all the cars coming and going from different directions. Mm -hmm. I gave him a big old hug mm -hmm. and $20 I happen to have in my billfold wow. that's been there for like five months i was wow. just it was like emergency money yes, yes and people saw me hugging him he's african-american i'm yes. a white i'm not a karen okay? right. i'm just a white woman <laughs> trying to make a living and then do the right thing yes absolutely. and people saw us <laughs> yes you know with all the divisiveness there's yes. all this talk about uh racism for this and that right. and the other thing and 
Well, I want to talk to you about what you're doing because when I ha when I hugged him, yes. some the, the lights changed, so now all four intersections started mm -hmm. moving, but people were honking their horn. Wow. Like, I took that as a... Wow, that's cool. Yes. I would do yes. it too, but it yes. just turned green, so I got to go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this isn't the first time I've found him there. So, right. yeah. You know, we have a big homeless problem in this country now. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know what? You're such a brave, encouraging person for doing that. You know, a lot of people won't do that nowadays. And we need more people like you, Donna. We really do. We wow, really, that's really kind really of you to say that. I, I started doing. Um, theater when I was a child and then I morphed into um, uh, the university theater and then I went to Hollywood and I was performing there and I don't want to talk about me it's about you but <laughs> I've been doing that all my life and I kind of okay. got used to talking to people yes. which makes me very obnoxious okay because if you're out there and I can talk to you I will <laughs> <laughs> and it's like excuse me do you mind my saying that you're suit is really wonderful. Did, well, thank you. Is that okay? Thank you. Yes, it is okay. <laughs> so I well, say that to you. people in the supermarket or yes. when I was in LA two years ago so selling my film, uh, mm -hmm. I went to fly into LAX and the, I've talked about this before on the show, but the uh -huh. pilot said, no, there's only six of us on the plane. It was during COVID. All right. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to LAX. Uh, we'll be landing in a few minutes, and I have good news and bad news. And six oh. of us were like in our masks. We're, we're, you know, we're in a big American Airlines plane, yes. okay? But, but we have to be socially distant. Right, right. It didn't make yes. any sense. Yes. And he yeah. said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the good news is it's 86 and sunny in Los Angeles. Oh wow. The bad news is, and we have our mask on, so you know mm -hmm. our eyes are like. Looking at each right. other, what could it be? We're about to land. <laughs> the bad news is the governor of California just closed down the entire state. Have a nice trip. Oh, my goodness. That ruined the mood, didn't it? No. <laughs> so I used to live in L.A., and my father lived there before he died, so it was like a reunion tour for me and my what, what what's left of my friends. But I couldn't go to the studios. Okay. I couldn't meet with my agent. I couldn't go to see my lawyer. Okay. The only place you could go to was the beach mm -hmm. or to a restaurant that had an outdoor seating area. Okay. Yeah, that was a $4,000 trip I saved for for five years. It <laughs> oh turned out to goodness. be, you know, let's get in the rental car. Where should we go today, Donna? Right. <laughs> but you are doing some magnificent work. Please yes, tell our audience so about much. it. Yes. The name of your of your uh, your uh, non-for-profit group? Yes, I have a non-profit group. It is called Magnolia's House of Hope. Um, Magnolia's House of Hope? Yes. Why yes. Magnolia? Uh, well, my grandmother, uh, my mother's mother, um, it was inspired by her. Um, her name was the late Pastor Magnolia McFarland. She was a pastor. Oh, wow. And so um, one of her most things that she, her dying wish was to basically have a center for women and men and younger children to be taught and mentored. So, you know, with her passing and, you know, it, it took a lot, but, you know, I decided to carry on with that legacy. And so that's where Magnolia's House of Hope came from. So. Isn't that something? Yes. Yes. Can indeed. I ask you a personal a personal question. Yes, you can. See, here I am again, <laughs> ladies. I am obnoxious. Okay, I do this all the time. Uh -huh. So I will tell people in part two. Yes. Uh, with our friend Leroy. Yes. Yes. How old I am, and there's okay. a reason I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm not going to tell tell them now, but I will. So remember to watch part two on what gives. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you how old you are? Me, I am in my twenties. Oh, wow. Yes, I am in my 20s. So, so. this is great. Yes. <laughs> that you have come to this point in your early 20s, close enough. Yes, close, close enough or so, yes. That you yes. are already advanced into yes. an organization. You're a pastor and you're helping people. We're going to yes. talk all about that. But, okay. wow, I mean, what a... What an example yes, we have you. here on our set right now. Thank you on so what much. Gives. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know, it's always been um, my dream to be a true inspiration. You know, I, I tell a lot of people that I didn't want to be just an ordinary person. I wanted to be someone different. I, I believe that um, we should stand out and, you know, be different. It's okay to be different. Um, that's how you make a change. And so um, that is what inspires me day after day to do what I do become who I become and do what I do so I enjoy it. Do you know who was it. different that I really think about a lot? Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yes. <laughs> I mean. Yes he was. You know he yes. acted differently, he talked yes. different, he wore different kind of clothes, yes. you know, he went to the 
temple and threw over the tables yes, when they were <laughs> exchanging money. You know, he, he said, put down that rock if you're without sin, when they were yes. going to stone someone. I mean, mm -hmm. that was pretty different for those days. Yes, it was. But yes. look at the difference he made. Yes, that is so true. So we're going to bring up picture number one of you, and you can describe to us uh, okay. that, we, that we're posting on, uh, on the face page here. Okay. Uh, yeah. I call it a face page, but it's a television screen. Right. <laughs> or whatever you're watching us on, you never right. know these you days. You never know these days. But we'll so. bring up that photo and uh, tell us a little bit about where you are located. Well, I am there located. It is. Look, isn't that a handsome shot? Well, thank you, Please. thank you. Hi, me. <laughs> <laughs> but Let's see, you're you're you are also a fashionista. I have to tell you. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, well, come thank on. you. Oh, look, here we go again. All right. Yes. See, as a as a uh, side hustle, you could sell suits and ties. Right. Really, we we all need to get dressed up again. We're all looking like our, we're in our jumpsuits. Oh no. Just <laughs> why I wore my spangly, uh, you know. Well, you look kind of, great. You yeah, look great. Well, it shines. I don't know if you can tell, ladies and gentlemen, but it's my New Year's Eve sweater. It kind of, it has little blings in it. So. Oh, yes. We need sunglasses in yeah. here. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, all right, tell us, where are you located yes. and tell us all about it. Well, you, doctor? I... Um, yes, I am located in the Chicago land area. Okay. So I, I do operate in all of Illinois. I'm always traveling and going even outside of Illinois. So you would um, come to South Bend perhaps? Yes, yes I would, yes. Did you hear that? Yes, you heard it. Okay, all right. <laughs> so um, I do that um, pretty much, you know, like as you mentioned, I have the nonprofit, also an entrepreneur of um, two successful companies to this day. Mm -hmm. um, my first company is Revelation Network. That one is a graphic design and um, we also do oh. photography on the side as well. Um, and then the second one is JW Enterprise. That is my baby is what I call it. Um, that one has been existing for about two years now. Okay. So that is a limousine and transportation service. Oh, I did see uh, that. Yes. Do yes. you have your own limo? I do. I have several of them, so I love it. I love it. I He's love in it. his 20s, okay? <laughs> young men out there of all different uh, races. Are you paying attention, and young women? I mean, please. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Do you know that when I lived in Chicago in mm -hmm. the 80s, mm -hmm. late 80s, mm -hmm. I was working with Oprah for a while. I, was, really? I had a, a mystery dinner theater uh, that was rated one of the top ten five theaters and, and restaurants in the United States. Okay. It was a combination. Okay. Um, but I decided mm -hmm. one morning I woke up and I thought, I'm going to buy a pink limousine. Really? And I'm going to drive it and make some extra money right. all over Chicago. Same. Didn't Same. happen. Okay. Oh, it but didn't you happen. did it. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Yes, you know, I've always been fascinated with limousines, even when I was much younger, teenage years, I mean, even before, even when I was in oh, they're kindergarten. They're fun, aren't they? They are so very fun, but I just came up with different ideas, and I was like, you know, they did this, and so we um, offer movie nights inside the limo, wow. and so wow. it's awesome. People love it. It's an experience you'll never forget, so. Now, would you be sure. coming over to the Indiana side with your limousine? I may be bringing it. You never know. We're actually doing it. Um, glad you said that. Um, we're actually going to be expanding. Um, our second location is going to be opening up in Tennessee in April, actually. Wow. So we've been in Chicago. Like I said, the business has been in existence for about two years, and it's been off the chain, I'll I must bet. say. I'll bet. And so we. Especially during COVID, I would imagine oh. like that's the only place somebody could go together. Yes. And oh, that was wow. the most time that we got a lot of business from both sides of the company. Um, and so, you know, when businesses were falling and failing, and so, you know, I just yeah. become what came up with different plans, and I'm like, this is the time, you know, and so we got the calls, and like, I didn't expect for it to go this far, but I'm just definitely grateful that it did, so. So if there's a, a investor out there that would like to um, yes. contact me, yes. we'll get a limousine, we'll paint it pink, right. okay? <laughs> and we'll bring it over here to South Bend and have some fun with it, all right? Make we, some we money. We're gonna make it happen, Are you that's listening right. out there? Yes. I'm serious. <laughs> I can drive it, all right? Right. No problem. <laughs> well, this is wonderful. Now, tell, it's amazing to me. Um, yes. I've had some time in limousines uh, in Hollywood. It mm -hmm. was a lot of fun. Yes. Um, okay, so a great business. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you um, 
mentor young people. That's mm -hmm. also something you do, right? Yes, that is right. Um, we mentor them by giving away certain things. Like this Thanksgiving, we um, was able to give away turkeys to families. Oh, great. Um, we went to visit. It was an organization called SOS that we are connected with and work with. Okay. Um, it's a village, actually, a whole neighborhood that is owned by the village. And, and that village is full of foster children and those different things. Really? Yes. It's and is that, lovely. That's also in Illinois? It is in Illinois. It's in Lockport, Illinois. Now, wait a minute. This gets a uh, horn blow for that. Yes. Blow the horn. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That's wonderful. Yes. So, yes. I, I love it. And so we was able to get them that. Um, we take the children out sometimes on trips. And so we also offer different scholarships. In the limousine? In the limousine. <laughs> oh, come we on. We have party buses. So, oh, please, there you go. Yes. Party buses. Yes. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yes. So uh, we always enjoy, we spend one-on-one -on -one time with them. We have counseling available. We have um, training. We teach them how to get um, early job opportunities as well. Oh, great. Um, and so I believe in this world that if we want change, we have to put the work in and do what's needed. And so it has to start somewhere. You know, we can't just talk about it and see what's going on and do nothing about it. Someone needs to do something about it. So Magnolia's House of Hope, we're the one that take care. Magnolia's House of Hope. Yes. Wow. Yes. And so, you know, there's some kind of phrase, I'm probably not going to get it right, but it's mm -hmm. something I used to hear growing up. Like, okay. you can, this is, don't laugh at me when I say this, because it's something like, mm -hmm. You can go to the store and buy a whole bunch of fish, mm -hmm. or you mm -hmm. can teach your children how to fish, mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. then basically, you know, they they have a job. That's the idea. Yes. They they can right. make money. They can sustain themselves. Absolutely. You know. I I think that's wonderful because mm -hmm. there's something going on in this country right now, mm -hmm. and I can't figure out what it is. Mm -hmm. It is crazy though. Very. Very. It's pitting black against white again, which is ridiculous. Yes, very Everybody's so. racist suddenly. Yes, Even right. school books are racist. Yes. Uh, turtles are racist. Right. Everything's <laughs> racist, all right? Which it's not, okay? Right. Because there's plenty of us that grew up during the uh, civil rights yes. era, like mm -hmm. I did. Yes, okay. And I can remember being in high school mm -hmm. in Michigan City, Indiana, at mm -hmm. Marquette High School, a Catholic high school. Okay. The nuns came in and said, you can all go home mm -hmm. because they've declared an emergency. They're burning down the north end of Michigan City. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a race riot. Right. Okay. Like, what the heck? Right. Yes. You know, and, and then we all know about Selma, Alabama. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now people are beginning to realize what that meant. Yes. Oh, yes. Important. Absolutely, yes. I will tell you really quickly, mm -hmm. I went to uh, the inauguration of um, President Reagan. Yes. I was freelancing for the media. Okay. I went to see my congressman, my senator, while I was there, and one of them said, Donna, mm -hmm. oh, you're from my hometown. Right. Uh, would you like to go over uh, with me this weekend to the Congressional Country Club? Did you mm -hmm. know there was one of those? No. It's right on the uh, water in really? Washington, D.C. Really? It's beautiful. It has a golf course. has wow. a big swimming pool. You go in, and, and it has a beautiful restaurant, all mahogany walls. And mm -hmm. So I went swimming, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I got to go back to the, uh, to the changing room for women. Okay. When okay. I went back there after swimming, I realized there were no towels. So I come mm -hmm. out, you know, in my robe that mm -hmm. they had back there, and I'm walking down the hallway, and I saw this restaurant. Mm -hmm. And I, there was no one around, so I peeked in, and there were two men there mm -hmm. in tuxedos with white gloves. Okay. They were the waiters, I assume. Mm -hmm. And I said, excuse me, um, is there somebody here I could get a towel from? Oh, get out! Get out! Oh, no, I'm like, no. what did I do? Did oh I say God. something? Yes. What it was, mm -hmm. doctor, mm -hmm. the Congressional Country Club mm -hmm. in Washington, D.C. in 19... 80 something or whenever he was inaugurated it, mm -hmm. as the, the year escapes me mm -hmm. did not allow women really? you if you're a woman you couldn't go into your own congressional country club wow. restaurant that you pay for with your taxes okay right. yes. that's the first time that i understood completely mm -hmm. what segregation was all about yes and yes. when yes. in the deep south stupidly we wouldn't mm -hmm. allow African Americans to do whatever, mm -hmm. and um, I, the whole thing to me was nuts. Yes, 
Absolutely. And I, I just, but I, I understood it. And mm -hmm. I think that we, we're going through another crazy time. I don't know where it's going to lead us, yes. doctor, but what are yes. your thoughts? You know, I, I, I think about the times that we're in, and like you said, that it's, it's so much going on. I think that we need to come up with a peaceful way. Um, you know, Martin Luther King Day had passed or so, celebrating that. Th so, yes, thank you for bringing that yes, up. Yes, yes, this is, we're taping in January, right after yes. the celebration of Martin Luther King. Yes, Who yes. was a great man. Oh, yes, yes, It's indeed. not the color of your skin, it's yes. the content of your character. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. And so, you know, I, I think of the way they went about things. They believed in peacefully doing things. Mm -hmm. They believed in making a change. They believed in you know, um, you know, I, 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 I do believe that you should be a strong person um, and you can develop that. But you know, wh where are the true inspirations? You have a lot of followers instead of leaders these days. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where a lot of the may have, shall I say, is coming from. A lot of the uh, uh, world's mess is coming involved with, you know, people in high places, low places, just everywhere. And so I think that it has to be a guideline that needs to be made. I think it has to be a way for us to come together and say, hey, we need to get a plan, we need to move accordingly, and we need to stick together most importantly. We all, we all bleed. Mm -hmm. You know, you cut me, I cut you, mm -hmm. or anything and else, red. we bleed. Yes, that's <laughs> correct. You know, it's no other color. Until so. it hits oxygen and right. then it's blue. Right, yeah. <laughs> but other Red, white, that, and blue, okay? Right. <laughs> so, you know, I believe that we have to just get together more often, come on one accord and make a change, you know, and don't be afraid to speak up. <laughs> yes. that, uh, that's another, yes. uh, you know, blow yes. your horn, um, yes. St. Patrick coming up next. Yes. So uh, yes. that was very well said. And you know, um, what I think about a lot is that being my age in mm -hmm. my generation, the boomers, okay, okay. Um, I was a late, boomer, okay. um, young one okay. at the okay. time. Not anymore, mm -hmm. but, uh, <laughs> oh, no. you know, I saw, I came up during the Vietnam War. Okay. Several people I went to high school with came back in body bags and I had to sing at their funeral mm -hmm. when I was in high school. Um, mm -hmm. You know, things like that. I lost mm -hmm. my fiance in, in, uh, in April of 1975 when mm -hmm. we were leaving Saigon. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, he took a grenade in a, in the, um, well, it, it was the ambassador's big compound with mm -hmm. a big fence around it. And unfortunately, there was a lot of hanky-panky mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. then. And mm -hmm. there were some um, dignitaries who had okay. had uh, relations with Asian women and had Asian American babies okay. that they okay. wanted to bring back to America when we left Saigon hurriedly in 1975. Right. Okay. And so they had an orphanage where these children were being raised in the compound mm -hmm. of our embassy. And my fiance was in the military mm -hmm. and he was supposed to get these kids out and onto the plane. Mm -hmm. By the way, that plane crashed. Mm -hmm. You can see it if you Google it up, you mm -hmm. can see the, the old footage of it. Yes. So thank God, one way or the other, he was gonna die, but mm -hmm. they threw a grenade over the big wall mm -hmm. and it landed right in front of those kids and mm -hmm. my fiance jumped, jumped on it and took the grenade to save the children. Wow, yeah. wow. That's when I was a sophomore in college, we were gonna get married uh, that summer and uh, mm -hmm. yeah. So people are doing crazy things. Yes, we have Ukraine. Are. Yes. We have yes. the south side of Chicago. Yes. We have yes. Uh, right here in South Bend and mm -hmm. Michigan City where I live, there are shootings. Somebody was just uh, almost abducted with her child in, in the South Lake Mall, I think it's called, uh, oh, University yeah. Mall here in, in uh, Mishawaka. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, you have to watch your back, doctor. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and it's so sad that it has to come down to that. Yeah. You know, it, it did used to be a time that you can just freely just go outside and mm -hmm. didn't fear for your life or, you know, mothers are concerned about their children, fathers, you know, grandparents, it's just all the above, you know. Yes. And so it's just very unfortunate, like you said, especially on the south side and just everywhere, honestly. Everywhere. It's starting to hit everywhere. You know, you have carjacking, a lot of that taking place. It's just, you have to be really be watchful and careful. And most importantly, my strongly belief is prayerfully. You yeah. know, stay prayed up or so. Absolutely. Um, and so, um, 
you know, it's, it's just the sad days, I think. But, you know, I, as I tell people, the encouraging part is, as long as you are living your life the best way you know how to, you have, you have lived an awesome life. And so, you know, I tell people, if I go today or tomorrow, I know for sure I'm making a change while I'm here. So count the days that you're allowed to be here and do the right thing and do what you're supposed to do. And I think that everything else will go in order. I love that about you, having just met you and, and so impressed by you. But I'll tell you, we have about four minutes left. Okay. I would like okay. you to just take the stage and, and talk to the audience. Yes. Camera number three. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And tell them what you want them to know. Mm -hmm. uh, about you and about your organization yes. and uh, maybe even I think we could do a phone number I'm not sure Absolutely. okay yeah, yeah I, um, well like we were talking about you know I, I came from a, a, a strong family background yeah. and I'm so thankful for my parents they're pastors actually uh, my mother pastor Julia Ann Wright and my father doctor attorney Richard Wright and so and wait I just have to interject one more second you also have an aunt um, yeah, oh, you speak of my grandmother. Yes. Who was a Chicago broadcast TV legend, yes. Mary D., who Mary survived D. kidnapping, shooting, and in, in 1971, yes. she died at 85 years old. I've worked with her at WGN. Yes. She was yes. one in a million. Please. Yes, yes. That was my grandmother. So they taught me so many things. I had so many inspirations around me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they made sure that we, we didn't follow the crowd. And so we mm -hmm. made sure that we did what we were supposed to. And so I just want to encourage everyone about the organization that that's the purpose of that. We want to change the uh, perspective. We want to change the ways of this world and want to bring a positive influence with Magnolia's House of Hope. And that's the purpose of, that's the vision, even being an entrepreneur as a person to be a mentor. And so that's our purpose. And so you can check out a lot uh, of what I have going on and what I'll be a part of. Uh, at do you my have website. A, a website? What is it? Yes, I do. <laughs> um, they can visit at drjulianwright.com and you can see all, everything that is involved Magnolia's House of Hope, the transportation company, all the above, everything that is going on. Um, and so, yeah, definitely check out that site. I can't definitely. believe you're in your 20s. I yes. mean, I, I, I have, <laughs> I'm a few decades older than you. I have to right. catch up, okay? <laughs> well, Dr. Julian, you have been a uh, just a breath of fresh air. Yeah, thank and you I, so I, much. I so look forward to getting to know you better. Yes, we absolutely. definitely will have you on again here on What I Gives. I look forward to it, yes. I yes, just, I, yes. you know, I'm so enthralled when I meet someone like you. Thank you. Who has uh, done so much already thank for the betterment so of people in your community and around uh, the country yes, uh, with you. your website and everything thank else you. you're doing. And it just makes me feel like with all the bad news out there, yes. we have a lot of really good people who are doing That's great right. things. There's hope. There's and, hope. And, and I think it's really important when I watch some of these YouTube videos and uh, TikTok, people are yes. beating each other up and oh, fighting. Yes. Uh, That's yes. where they get this idea, but Martin Luther King said, peaceful protest. Yes, he did, yes. So if somebody screams and yells at you, like happens to me on a daily basis in my car, because yes. I do the speed limit, and okay. there, they think I'm like going too <laughs> slow, all right? Don't scream and yell back. Right, yes. Don't fight your neighbors when they yell at you because you're feeding the deer and they don't right. like it. I mean. Just try to be peaceful. Absolutely. Sit back like Jesus did. Yes. You know, let them say what they're saying. That's and then right. Say, may, I, may I speak now? Yes. And if they won't let yes. you, then say, have a nice day. And Absolutely. And Absolutely. they'll remember that. Yes. Okay? Yes. At some Absolutely. point. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, we have a few seconds left. Please wrap it up for us, would you? Yes. Well, I thank you so much, Donna, for having me a part. You know, I, I enjoy being here. I had fun. I oh, had good. fun. All right. I fun is good. I enjoyed myself. <laughs> It's a party, so. <laughs> well, so. thank you, everybody, for watching What Gives, and thank, thank you, you very much, thank Doctor. Thank you so much. It's been wonderful to have you here, and we'll see you uh, in part two. Don't go away. We'll be back thank with you. What Gives, part two. Thank, thank you. We are PBS.